welcome to this video tutorial on how to create an illustration here on Freepik. My name is Sarita and I'm here to show you how to paint a fire princess using Adobe Photoshop. First, let's begin with setting up your workspace. Make sure your brushes window is open and all your brushes are laid out before you. Make sure your layers window is laid out next to it and your colors and properties window is open as well. And now we're ready for painting. Now I have a foundation sketch ready over here. This is my fire princess that I sketched early on in Photoshop. It's painted on a separate layer. So I already have my color palette selected and I'm going with yellow, warm blue, red, and orange. And now using my brushes, I'm gonna begin with the underpainting for my foundation sketch. I did this by creating a new layer over my sketch and changing the blend mode to color burn. Notice how I'm painting all the large surfaces first and only adding in the few details that I need to. This is so that I don't get lost adding any unnecessary information to my painting, especially in the early stages. Now I've started painting in some lighting. Create a new layer and change the blend mode to overlay. Then select white from your color window and using your brush start painting in some lighting. And now we're ready for the official painting. I've created a new layer over my foundation sketch and I'm going to begin painting in the skin tone and working in large shapes just like before. So this particular illustration is made using a mix of brushes and vectors. So basically it's a mix of painting and design. To create a vector shape, start by selecting the pen tool from the toolbar. Then lay down vector points along your painting to create the desired shape that you want. Then hit right click and select make selection from the menu. Then select the paint bucket tool and fill in the selected shape. I'm only going to focus on painting half the face because eventually I'm going to duplicate it and mirror it to the other side. To create the other half of the face, first group all the layers of the head together. Do this by selecting the layers, then hitting Command-G or Control-G on your keyboard. Then select the group layer and hit Command-E or Control-E on your keyboard to merge these layers. Then select Edit from the top menu, select Transform, and then select Flip Horizontal and drag the face over to the other side. Now continue painting in all the large spaces and remember to keep using new layers each time. By using the pen tool in Photoshop, I'm able to give my edges a nice hard edge to it that gives it that kind of paper stock feel that you see in the illustration. That's the look that I'm going for. I want it to have hard edges while having that nice painterly feel to it. Now I've pretty much filled in the entire illustration with big shapes and I'm just going over it again with my brushes and my pen tool to add in the final detail. And now using my brush, I'm going to start painting in a little texture. I want to give that 3D effect of paper being laid on top of paper, so I'm adding a little shadow underneath each edge to kind of give it that feel. 
I want to give the nose a little bit of dimension so that it feels a little better. Right now it's too straight. And I'm also adding in a little red to give it that warmth as well. Now I'm adding in a shadow under her cheekbones to give her that evil, sullen look. And then I'm going to duplicate it and add it to the other side. This instantly gives my princess a lot of character. And now I'm going to start adding in some detail to her clothing. I want to give her a nice big blue collar. I roughly sketch it out first with the brush and then outline it with the pen tool to give it that hard edge. Eventually I want to add a shadow underneath her head to give it that 3D look. Once I kind of draw it out, I use the Gaussian Blur filter to give it that smooth effect. And now I want to add a pattern to her clothing. I'm using the same shape that I used for her nose. I want to repeat this shape over and over in the illustration to kind of bring a cohesion to the painting. And again, using the brush and pen tool, I'm going to finish off the painting, adding in all the details to her clothing. It's a layering process, and I continue to replicate and duplicate each side so that it feels balanced. Even though I want the painting to have a feel of symmetry throughout, I want to also change it up now and then, adding a little bit of asymmetry just so that it doesn't feel completely flat. And now again I'm emphasizing the diamond shape on her collar again. Now let's add some shadow underneath the arms to give it that 3D effect. Do this by selecting the layer that your arms are painted on. Then while holding down the command or control button on your keyboard, then select the layer so that it's highlighted and move that layer underneath your arms. Then from the top menu, hit select, then modify, then expand. Then enter the number 6 and just hit OK. Then using the paint bucket tool, fill in the shape in black, then select Filter from the top menu and go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and change the layer blend mode to Multiply. Now I just decided that I don't like the red of her skirt. I want to add some contrast, so I've decided to change it to blue. I think it looks a little better. Now let's add the main detail that makes the Fire Princess who she is. Let's begin with painting in her hands first. Now instead of having our hands facing each other and mirroring each other exactly, I've decided to change it up and add some asymmetry. This makes the illustration much more interesting. Now I just want to add a few more touches to her clothing, just to add a little more color. Now let's add some shadow and highlights to her. This little step makes such a difference to your painting. Paint the shadows on in black with a new layer on your brush. Make sure that the blend mode for this layer is set to multiply. And similarly for the highlights, paint in white and make sure that the blend mode for the layer is set to overlay. Now I feel that my painting is currently a bit too dull. Now I'm going to brighten it up by adding an adjustment layer from the layers menu. Now I'm going to add a color balance adjustment layer to enhance the saturation and give a nice warm tone to the entire painting. And finally I'm going to change my background to a nice blue tone. Now I love the way her lips came around in the sketch, so I'm essentially tracing them with my pen tool and I'm going to add it to the illustration. Now 
Now let's add more character to her by giving her eyes a little more love. I kind of want to give her these beautiful big yellow eyelashes, just to make her look more dramatic and powerful. I used the pen tool again, but instead of hitting make selection, I actually selected stroke path. Now this works hand in hand with your brush settings. So depending on what your brush settings are, that is what you will see when you use this feature. And now let's add the main feature, adding fire to the princess's hands. Now I've created my own fire brushes in Photoshop using the edit create brush preset feature. This is a very quick way for me to create the effect that I want. Just as I replicated the diamond shape on her clothing, I will similarly replicate the fire shape in the background as well. Now let's brighten those flames up a bit so they stand out, but not too much. We don't want it to overpower the main illustration. And now I want to add in some highlight to the hair to kind of pull it out a little. Be sure that the layer that you're painting on is selected with the blend mode overlay. And finally, let's add some serious detail to those flames. We want them to stand out as much as they can. Again, I'm painting in with the brush tool to kind of balance out the hard edges so that the flames feel like they have a painterly feel to them, but also still look very designerly. And by designerly, I mean stylized. And we're almost done. I'm just adding in a few details to the hair. And we're done! Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that! I hope that this tutorial will help you create your own illustrations in Photoshop as well. Good luck with your painting, and I look forward to seeing you here again on Freepik. <laughs>